7.56. I don't usually get up this early, but I need to start trying to wake up earlier because I've been waking up too late these days. When I wake up, I love brushing my teeth, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep them pearly white, you know, you know what I'm saying? Me. All right, so after I brush my teeth and wash my face, I usually have to get my brother his breakfast. But today was quite long because we'd run out. I had to go outside in this freezing cold to get some stupid... It was no issue anyway, really. It was, it was still early, so I just wanted to go get some. Yeah, I wear socks with slides. You're a straight weirdo if you don't. Anyways, I got the wheat bix and my brother was satisfied. Now it was time for my breakfast. So I had a choice, wheat bix or Cocoa Pops. But wait, no I didn't. You see, I'm doing this thing called a Daniel Fast. So I can't eat meat, dairy, or anything that contains sugar that isn't natural. Basically a vegan. So I just settled with a cup of tea and an apple. <laughs> I also remembered that I had some work that I needed to finish off, so I thought, you know what, whilst I'm eating apple, I might as well do that. Alright, so obviously since we're in lockdown and stuff, college, schools, pretty much everywhere is closed. Which means that, obviously, we can't go in. But there still is online schooling, which we are currently doing to try and keep the students academically focused. Academically, acad I'm sure I said that right. <laughs> so roughly... Half nine, ten every single Tuesday. I'm actually in online school for college. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go get some exercise in. So uh, I'll see you after the class. Thousands of tears later. Well, I've just finished online college. We basically just went through a few uh, scenes and things. You boys obviously in like, them. It's a lot different than being actually in college, obviously. But I mean, it's I'm enjoying it. It's not bad. The experience is different, but it's something I can get used to. I don't really want to go out, but I've got to get fitness in, um, so I don't get unfit, obviously. So the noise town feels now to play some football in that. I wasn't lying. It's it's cold, bro. We're tough, so we out here, we out here. I'll see you when I get my camera and stuff set up over there. Boys at town feel oh, it's cold, mate. Is why I play left back. Let's believe I came back and I went straight in the shower. <laughs> right, well I just got out of the shower and got ready, but I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Yeah, as stated earlier, I'm doing a Daniel fast, which means I can't have anything dairy or any meat products. That literally ticks off most of the things in my health right now. Well, I found some vermicelli. What I'm gonna do with this, I have no clue, but. You know, we'll we'll figure some out. But I can't have it. It <laughs> Deezing me, you naughty, naughty. Finish what I've done, I've just put some sweet corn and some like spice and stuff in to try and make it taste nicer. I would have actually tried to make something nice, but I, I couldn't be bothered <laughs> in all fairness. So anyways, I'm just gonna chill and eat this whilst watching some uh Koya Kenshin. All right, so the time is now quarter past two. So I think now is a time where a bit more work should be done. If you guys didn't know, which I, I don't think you did. I play Romeo and Romeo and Juliet, which means I'm pretty much in every single scene, so. What's soft? What light beyond on the window breaks? This is the east and Juliet is the sun. I can always face them. Kill the envious moon in the video. What's soft? What light for you on the wind break? 
5.54. I've done a bit of editing. I've still got a lot to do. I've also got to edit this video that's going out. I've actually been blessed and fortunate enough to, for my dad to cook some dinner. And it's actually really nice, I'm not even going to lie to you. Several song-filled hours later. It's 9 and 7, that means it's way past my brother's bedtime. And every night I get him either a shower or bath, so let's go ask him which one he wants today. Do you want a shower or a bath? I knew you were going to say that, so you already done one. My brother has been bathed, his teeth has been brushed, and he's been clothed and put into bed. I am so tired right now. I'm tired, and I haven't even done that much today. <laughs> it's crazy because I wouldn't usually post this kind of video, but I actually had fun. <laughs> I might do this again when we're out of quarantine, so there's actually stuff we can do. Anyways, that'll wrap up this day in life of a college student in lockdown or whatever it was called i, I don't remember <laughs> thanks again doncaster college for this opportunity and uh yeah yo all right so i just thought i'd sit here and talk to you about how i've been feeling during this whole quarantine and about college and stuff take this as a kind of motivational section i guess maybe not maybe it's not motivational but yeah <laughs> all right so as we all know it's not the best circumstances at all with coronavirus and everything like that People are getting sick every day, not being able to go to work, not being able to see friends. You know, it's all very difficult. And what I'm about to say is so cliche. Hey, that rhymes. Yo, I'm legit Eminem. <laughs> but now on a real, try your hardest to stay positive. Again, I know it's cliche. I know it's difficult to do, but it's the best thing for it. Every single day, try and accomplish something new. Nine out of ten times, you're feeling the way you are at night because you're not doing stuff different during the day. Every day, just try new things. If you don't paint, try painting. If you don't draw, try drawing. You get the point. Start a YouTube channel. Make videos online for people to see. And you never know, you might start really enjoying it. Accomplish something during the day that you wouldn't usually do. Whether it's literally five push-ups or even making dinner for your family. Just try one thing and I guarantee you, you'll feel a lot better by the end of the day. We're in a tough situation because you can't go into college and I'm not sure about you guys, but I personally love college, especially my course, because my course is probably like, you know, the greatest course. So it is tough, but again, just about the mindset. Once this goes, it's all over. So try your best to not let the mindset slip. Always keep a positive mindset and you'll be all right. I hope you enjoyed this video and this message, I guess. I'll see you guys in a bit.